Well, severe storms are already firing in Texas today, and unfortunately, this weather pattern that we're seeing is kind of getting stuck and just getting started with multiple days of severe weather. We've got flooding ahead, and some of it could be intense with some flash flooding, and it could also be an intense long range too. We're going to look at that in the video today. Thanks for stopping by. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. I'm Travis. I used to be a chief meteorologist years ago on TV, so if you're brand new, you're just stopping over and you enjoy weather, you're a weather geek like me, I hope you'll consider coming back. Let's look at what's going on in the upper levels. We're going to dive into this long range outlook first because, uh, yeah, they're, I mean, it's the time of year where you get these weather patterns and sometimes they get stuck. And unfortunately, we've kind of been stuck in this pattern where we get this repeating rounds of heavy rain here across parts of the Mississippi River Valley. And, and I think we're going to get more, not just today, but into tomorrow. There could be some really strong storms across Texas too. Storm Prediction Center upgrading this area's outlook today, Saturday, April 19th for some strong storms. Hail, in, in my opinion, looking at some of the uh, the analysis, looks to be the big culprit uh, and the big problem today, but there could also be some damaging winds and some tornadoes. This piece of energy, this is the culprit that's going to bring more severe weather into Sunday to areas further to the north and east, into Missouri, Arkansas, maybe even as far east as Illinois. So yeah, we're not done with the severe weather today. Warm across the east with this decent ridge here across the southeast, keeping things pretty mild. However, we've seen our temperatures drop here across the northern tier into the northern Rockies. Cold enough even over the last couple of days for some snow into the northern mountains of Arizona. Places around Flagstaff saw quite a bit of snow. That now is over and things are changing. Trough across the west starts to dig in, at least some cooler air here across the northern Rockies. And then heading into next week, as we look kind of at the long-range outlook, sort of the idea of what's going to happen, things kind of flatten out next week. If anything, you've got almost a bit of a southwesterly flow aloft. I think this is going to lead to temperatures probably above average through next week. Maybe not so across the northern tier into parts of southeast or southern Canada, but another ridge starts to develop across the east. We're watching this trough, though. This is the, the next culprit that's digging in to the west that's going to bring some big rain. And I think maybe another round of severe weather that starts to push east. Temperatures start to rebound, and we go up. We really start to warm up ahead of this trough, and as this cold pool of air moves across the Rockies, this could get interesting heading into next weekend. Maybe some more spring snow into the mountains, and I think you've got to wonder, is this our next severe weather outbreak? Is this the next storm that really starts to form? And we're looking out pretty far. I get it, and that's what we're doing in this video. We're looking at the long range. So the idea that there are multiple rounds of severe weather on the way. And then look at this. As we head into May, a uh, couple of model runs. This is the overnight operational European. I mean, the, this sets us up for another severe weather event. So I think we stay active with this stormy weather pattern. A lot of moisture streaming north today. That's going to lead to a lot of rain and, again, a lot of strong storms across Texas. Storm Prediction Center eyeing this area really almost from the Dallas-Fort Worth area all the way back southwest uh, into most of central Texas here. The idea would be for some strong damaging winds and the hail risk going up quite a bit. We They've hashed this area out. That means there's a significant risk of some pretty strong hail uh, signature showing up this afternoon and also some tornadoes, the tornado outlook stretching all the way north into parts of Arkansas and into Missouri. So, while it's not a zero threat all the way up into Missouri, as we bring some of this warm air north, where it's kind of cool now, we start to destabilize things, and then we start to see that tornado risk going up. And tomorrow, that risk goes up a little bit further to the east. Check this out. This is your day two outlook for Sunday. Easter Sunday looking rough here across central and Missouri, even southern Missouri into Arkansas. Again, we're going to bring that warm air north into areas where it's kind of cool. So you may think, gosh, it's cool, it's stable, but that, that won't be the case heading into tomorrow as things do start to change and the tornado risk even a little bit higher here uh, on Sunday. A little bit further to the east, you can see there'll be a few storms, but yeah, your severe risk is back here with your strong jet dynamics, your low level jet coming in, a lot of wind shear, and that's why your tornado risk is a little bit higher here. Let's widen things out. How about we take a look around the entire country? We'll slow it down and we'll take it day by day over the next seven days or so. A lot of rain stretched out along our front. Now, most of that severe weather again on Saturday will be across Texas. A little bit of snow still going here into the mountains of southern Colorado, also northern New Mexico. That's going to continue through today and into tonight. A few showers moving into the northeast. We're dry here, though, across really a lot of the northern 
uh, northern states here across the Dakotas into Wisconsin, Michigan looking nice here. A little cool though with this trough digging through and then across the southeast, another dry day. You've got a Bermuda high here. I don't know if we want to call it a Bermuda high, but a decent area of high pressure bringing in southerly winds and it's going to be pretty warm here. And this front isn't going to make it very far to the south. So another dry uh, Saturday into Sunday. Now our low pressure getting really strong here across the central U.S. from Oklahoma moving north. That's going to be our next severe weather outbreak. And now things continue to push further to the north and into the east. And we're watching this low continue to get stronger and stronger, but then it starts to weaken as it moves into southeast Canada. And now we've just got showers. And this is where things get interesting, I think, into next week. Okay, so now we flatten things out. What you don't see this time of year is a cold front that just pushes all the way to the Gulf, right? You just don't see that. It, everything just kind of stagnates. So now we've sort of got this warm front sitting here. I mean, that looks like a stegosaurus is back. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Okay, but you get the idea. Your front just kind of laying here. It's not really advancing very far. And now you've got all of this moisture moving back into this region. So I think the problem could be more rain. And, you know, we've seen a lot here, especially in the Mississippi River Valley. You guys know what I'm talking about. So unfortunately, it looks like more rain on the way. And this keeps going all the way in, into next week. And now this is where things start to change up. We've got this ridge building here, trough in the east. High pressure. This looks like a dry high, high building into the northeast as we head into next weekend into the first part of the following week. So we're looking pretty far out. Again, this is a long-range outlook. A lot of moisture but moving north. Some really warm air pushing fairly far to the north. And here comes your next system into the west. So does this set us up for our next severe weather outbreak here? Time will tell. But I think you watch the 28th, 29th, 30th. Not just for severe weather, but maybe even some really heavy rain as our next storm moves across the country. All right, so that's a look at the long range. Let's dig into some of the details over the next 24 to 48 hours. Quite a bit of rain moving through Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. Could be a few strong storms heading into the afternoon, but the strongest risk will be heading into tomorrow for this region. We'll start to see things calm down tonight, but we'll get really active heading into Sunday morning. So the storms could really get strong, especially into the late morning hours. We're looking pretty far west, I know, here into eastern Oklahoma, but we will be watching this area heading into tomorrow for strong damaging winds and even some tornadoes. You can time this out heading into the afternoon and evening hours, now moving through really from Little Rock north into central Missouri. These storms continue to march off to the east heading into Sunday, and now we're into Monday morning. So a lot of the dynamics pretty much gone at this point, really moving northeast uh, in, into the Great Lakes region, so that severe risk going down significantly. Pretty warm across the southeast again today, close to 90 for places like Macon, Valdosta, up to Atlanta, not quite 90, but still in the mid-80s, Greenville, Spartanburg, up to Charlotte, upper 80s, Gre uh, Greensboro, even up to Richmond and into the north northern Virginia, into the mid to upper 80s today, so really warm here as that warm air squeezes north. And how about that? We're cracking 80 all the way up into Southeast PA, into New York City and Western Maryland, and even Delaware getting in on, on the action. Cooler weather back into this region behind the front. Heading into the Great Lakes, a few strong storms possible today. And then heading into tomorrow, boom, there come your storms out of Missouri tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, lifting into Illinois. I think you watch into this region. If you go back and you look at the uh, the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for that day, uh, day two, you can kind of see up into Illinois, some of these may expand a little bit further out, and day three convective outlook certainly much, much lower as all of this energy pushes into Canada, and we say goodbye to that. How about the snow, maybe up toward Duluth behind the system? All right, here comes the warmth moving north, but the cold moving back into the Great Lakes region behind this next area of low pressure. So it's not going to warm up for very long. There's your temperatures on Sunday. Here comes the low. You can see it squeezing that warm air north and then some colder air behind this building back in with temperatures on the way back down. All right, back across the plains. This is where the real heavy rain is falling across Oklahoma today. I mean, this is really heavy. And, you know, with all of these strong updrafts and a lot of instability, I, I think you're going to be dealing with uh, some hail and maybe some big hail makers too into the evening into tonight up into Oklahoma, too, and with a tremendous amount of rain falling as well. This continues into Sunday. 
doesn't move a lot. So, you know, you got to wonder if flooding, is it going to be a, is it a major concern? Well, I mean, you're going to get some decent rain. The good news, I guess, if there's a silver lining, there hasn't been as much rain in places like Kansas and the parts of Oklahoma, but heading into Sunday, now we start to get the dynamics going here with a, a decent jet streak aloft. You're bringing everything in like this, wrapping into your low, a lot of wind shear developing. So your tornado risk going up heading into the afternoon here from southern Kansas into Oklahoma and I think even northern Texas. A bit of a bowing segment here starting to set up. There could be some embedded rotating storms within this, but damaging winds certainly on the table. That lifts into Arkansas, Missouri. Your low moves up into Iowa. And again, some of that severe weather could push into western Illinois. A lot of your dynamics go away here on the southern end of this across Mississippi, Louisiana, as your front flattens out. And then we, uh, we calm down some. Temperatures pretty warm across Texas today, across Louisiana, Arkansas. Look how this warm surge is north. Boom, there it goes. And that's why your severe risk is going to go up in places where it's kind of cool today. Further to the north, across the uh, the northern plains into Minnesota, the Dakotas, the rain pretty much to your east. However, Minnesota, we're going to see some rain and a little bit of snow over toward Duluth with temperatures chilly here today, not getting into the 80s. We're in the 40s and 50s. There's that snow across the far southwest. Big snow falling in Flagstaff. Uh, National Weather Service posting a picture yesterday. Uh, pretty wild to see that snow at this time of year, but hey, it's the southwest. It's in the mountains at 7,000 feet. You know, you get that time to time. We are calming down, though, as we head through this week. Not as much precipitation in the forecast. Cold today, I mean, relative to where we would normally be, be up into Flagstaff. Let's take this for example. Today, we're in the 40s. Tomorrow, we should get warmer. We should be into the 50s, maybe even close to 60. And also into Phoenix, we're warming up as well. Typically cold up here in the Colorado Rockies. Salt Lake City into the 50s. We'll see these numbers try to climb some, but really not that much back into the 60s. So maybe a 3 or 4 degree temperature difference between now and Tuesday. Well, Sunday and Tuesday. We're definitely going to warm up in this region tomorrow compared to where we are today and where we were yesterday and across the Pacific Northwest. And by the way, if you're just joining this, you can back the video up to the beginning. You can watch it from wherever. You can always subscribe and come back and watch them if you miss the live stream, so no worries. And thank you so much for supporting the channel if you're a subscriber. If you're an OG, you've been here a while. Thank you guys so much. But if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe across the Pacific Northwest. If you're here, I mean, not as active as it could be, right? A little bit of rain and snow shower activity into Idaho and Montana. Cold air aloft, that's going to keep things unstable here. A little bit of lift going on with this setup. That's going to bring some more rain and some snow. Rain into the valley, snow into the mountains. It's not a huge, huge snow setup or precipitation type setup, but just unsettled here as that cold air aloft sort of lingers. Temperatures aren't warming up very much here. A little bit cooler. Now, into eastern Oregon, we may get into the 60s and 50s here, for also into eastern Washington, but further to the south, much warmer. All right, that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope you have a great Easter weekend. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time right here.